We are back with Mary Trump and something else that we've been sort of diligently pursuing here through our reporting and our interviews is something specific to Donald Trump, uh, which is in the cycle of lying frauds and cons, uh, it's different than other traditional politicians. For one thing, the opening promises are, are far grander than what uh, politicians in, in either party even uh, make. I mean, uh, another country is going to fund something. Sounds good, right? If you could actually get Mexico to fund U.S. education or Social Security, right? Sounds like an idea. It just didn't happen over four years. And so some people notice that and feel that he's tricked them, just like the old Trump University students, which we've been exploring in our program, and other people kind of move on from it. With that in mind, I want to look at the way this was warned, even in the Republican primary, um, with people who love Trump so much they spent money to go to the classes and then found out later they felt he was defrauding them. Take a look. At Trump University, we teach success. That's what it's all about, success. It's going to happen to you. If you're going to achieve anything, you have to take action. And action is what Trump University is all about. But above all, it's about how to become successful. The plaintiffs against you are like the Madoff victims. Oh, give and they, me, give this me is a what proof. the Court of Appeals said. Give me a proof. They found that victims of con artists often sing the praises of their victimizers until they realize they have been fleeced. Con victims loyal until they're not. Do you see any parallels there uh, to this election cycle? Yeah, I, I think we're starting to see some movement on the right. Um, elected Republicans trying to distance themselves. It, you know, it's it's uh, fairly muted at this point. Um, so I think that um, that is something we're going to see more of. But it's different in kind um, because people who invested in Donald and believed in him as, you know, potential students or contractors were deceived by him. They were defrauded by him. Elected Republicans were all in, eyes wide open. So I'm sorry, they cannot think that at the 11th hour, they can decide to uh, distance themselves and you know get rid of all responsibility for the horrors we've been subjected to the last three and a half years. They're just as responsible, in some cases, even more responsible than Donald is for the state this country is in. And you know if they abandon him at the end, well, good because that will make it easier for us to prevail in November. And by us, I mean people who actually care about this country and want to heal the wounds that have been inflicted on us. But they need to be held accountable just as Donald does. Yeah, uh, interesting perspective on all of that, particularly given the history uh, and, and how people ended up uh, in that bind. Mary Trump, uh, always good to see you here. 14 days out, the book is too much and never enough. Ahead on the beat, Barack Obama out on the campaign trail for Joe Biden, his first actual rally. We're getting new details on that. But I want you to stick around with us because I have a special take on a brand new decision out of the Supreme Court. You may not have heard about it yet. They just deadlocked 4-4. This could affect the outcome of the election. And we have a special guest on it when we come back. <laughs> 